Hello, I'm Josh Ross. We're going to be discussing the gross motor skills for children ages 2 to 6. On your way out, make sure you grab your gross motor skills brochure that will be discussing all the activities that we talk about today. Gross motor skills are the abilities required in order to control the large muscles of the body for walking, running, sitting, crawling, and other activities. Gross motor skills develop over a relatively short period of time. Most development occurs during childhood. However, soldiers, athletes, and others who engage in activities requiring high degrees of endurance may spend years improving their level of muscle and body coordination and gross motor skills. There are many different types of skills your child should have and perfect at different stages of their life. The activities we are going to discuss are just a platform. If your child is not at this point in their development, it is not necessarily a bad thing. For children ages two to three, they should be running forward well, they should jump in place with two feet together, stand on one foot with aid, be able to walk on their tiptoes, kick a ball forward, and climb on play equipment. The quads, glutes, adductors, hamstrings, and calves are all used to make you jump, jump rope, do jumping jacks, or just a vertical hop. When climbing on play equipment, or even just up a flight of stairs, you have to make many different muscle groups work together. The flexor carpa radialis is the muscle that operates your fingers and your biceps and triceps control your forearms, while your deltoids and pectoralis are moving your upper arms. So as you can see it, take all of those groups of muscles just to get your hands to grab from one rung on the ladder and then move your next hand to the other. All at the same time that your leg muscles are working in conjunction to get one foot from step to step. During a game of soccer, while running, kicking, and keeping balance, you're using your thighs containing your adductor magnus, your hamstrings, then down through your leg using your gastronomus, Celius and fibularis longus. Then all the muscles in your feet attached to your tarsals and toes to help you keep your balance. Fun activities to help you keep these skills would be soccer, football, basketball, baseball are all great ways to keep your children active in building muscles. Riding a tricycle or jumping rope in the garage on a rainy day is still a great way to keep your kids active when the weather doesn't permit for a great day out in the yard or in the park. Here's Carla. Hi, my name is Carla DeCracker, and I will be discussing the three to four year olds. These are um, what they should be doing at this age. Runs around in obstacles, walks on a straight line, balances on one foot for five to 10 seconds, hops to on one foot without support, pushes, pulls, steers, wheeled toys, rides tr tricycles using pedals, uses slide independently, jumps over six inch high objects and lands on both feet together, throws ball overhead, catches a bounce ball. In the run, if when they're running in the quadriceps, you have four muscles: the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, the vastus intermedius, and the rectus femoris, which move two joints: the knee and the hip. Walking, you use your satoris, quadriceps, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, tibius anterior. For throwing a ball, you use your deltoids, your flexor, extensor, biceps and triceps, abdominal, satoris posterior superior, and satoris posterior inferior. And that is a picture of all the different muscles. For pushing and pulling, you use your pectorals, your biceps, triceps, deltoid, satoris anterior, and cora corabralis. For pedaling, those are the different muscles that you use for pedaling. Fun activities to do with your toddlers is to jump on a pillow. You place a pillow on the, um, on the floor and, or cushions 
and they can jump. Let toddlers practice climbing up and down the stairs with your help. Get on the floor with your child for floor time. Play peekaboo by crawling around the floor behind furniture. Children love having adults on their level. Play ball with them, blocks, bubbles, color, and do obstacle courses. And now here's Terry. Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm going to be talking about the four to five year olds. Um, at this age, they should be able to walk backward from toe to heel, jump forward uh, 10 times without falling, turn somersaults, hop around on one foot without support, um, skip, make running jumps, um, walk up and down stairs independently, alternating feet. Um, there's different muscles you use for walking, mostly, obviously, it's the leg muscles, the satoris, the vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and tibialis anterior. The muscles used for the different skipping and jumping are your quadricep muscle group and your hamstring muscle group. There's the anterior of the femur, the rectus femoris, the lateral and intermedial and medial vastial, again, and your feet, which is the plantor, the plantar flexors. Um, the fun activities that you can play with your kid is duck, duck, and goose, follow the leader while you jump, hop, walk, different things. Um, kick a ball back and forth, hit a ball off a t-ball stand, play freeze tag or freeze dance, um, pretend to be statues to practice balancing, or set up an opt obstacle course with pillows, chairs, boxes, anything that they can run around, over, under, you know, just for fun. And here's Christina. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm going to be talking about the age group of five and six-year-olds. Um, between the ages of five and six, the typical child should be able to run lightly on their toes, walk on a balance beam, can cover six feet of hopping, skip on alternate feet, jump rope, skates. Um, I chose two of the activities, which were as roller skating and jump roping. And the primary muscles would be the quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, hip abductors, and hip adductors. Um, and the smaller assisting muscles would be the erector spinae and abdominal and obliques. For jump roping, um, works out the, mostly the hip, the thigh, and the calf muscles. They work the gluteal muscles at the bottom, and specifically the gluteum maximus and the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. The bicep femoris muscles in the hamstring and the rectus femoris in the quads and the gastrocnemius, soleus, and tibialis anterior calf muscles. Some fun activities to do for five to six would be um, dancing is a big one. They're kind of at the age where they're a little too old for the toys and stuff. So um, dancing you know, gets them active, works almost every single muscle in their body, and is actually fun for them to do. So um, another activity anyone can do is just going to the park, having fun and with their friends, jump roping, skipping, and skating are all things that can be done at the park. By doing these activities, kids won't even know that they're using their muscles. They just think that they're having a good time and they're really doing more for their bodies. Here's just a picture of the, some of the muscles that I um, was talking about. The gluteus maximus, the bicep femor femoris, and I don't know, abdominals, just small picture. 
Um, knowing how it works. Head to toe development refers to the way the upper parts of the body develop, beginning with the head before the lower parts develop. Head control is gained first, followed by the shoulders, upper arms, and hands. Upper body control is developed next, followed by the hips, pelvis, and legs. Encouraging gross motor skills requires a safe, open play space, peers to interact with, and some adult supervision. In conclusion, gross motor skill activities are very important. Please give your children as many opportunities to move, jump, bounce, reach, throw, kick, climb, and roll as possible every day. Keep your kids healthy and active, and they will grow up to be able to use all of their muscles for their full potential. Thank you.